And Imam al nawawi who wrote the book 40 Hadith, which is the most prolific, ma'roof, mashhoor, the most well-known books of 40 Hadith. It's the most well-known one. He himself said, it is the ittifaq, it is the ittifaq. All of the ulama of al-Hadith, all of them, all of them are of the opinion that this Hadith is weak. Weak. And although it has different chains of narration, different narrators, it is weak with ittifaq, no doubt about it. So how and why would scholars work by this hadith? A weak hadith encouraging them to write books about 40 hadith? And we are of the aqidah that we shouldn't work with weak hadith. But there are some ulama who say, you can work with the weak hadith as long as it's not in aqidah. As long as it's not in the ahkam. As long as the weakness is not really, really severe. As long as you don't say, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the most hated halal to Allah is divorce. Divorce is halal, but Allah hates it. Don't say Rasulullah said. So those scholars of al-hadith who said, you can work with weak hadith. They say you can work with hadith in fadail al-amal. There's a weak hadith encouraging you to do something here or there. They say you can use it just to encourage people. And that's why you have weak hadith in Kitab al tawheed of Al-Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. That's why you have weak hadith in Al-Imam Nawawi's book, 40 Hadith. That's why you have weak hadith in his book, Riyadh al-Salihin, and many of the great books and classic books of Islam, Subul al-Salam, Balugh al-Muram. You have weak hadith in these books. So the scholar said, yes, you can work with a weak hadith if it's in the fadail of al-a'mal, but not in the aqidah, because the aqidah in al-Islam is only established with what is authentic. You can't work with them in the ahkam, halal and haram, no. You can't work with them if the hadith is weak because of a very serious issue. In the chain of narration, there's a liar. In the metan, in the speech of the word and of the hadith, it goes against the kitab of the sunnah. You can't work with those weak hadith. There's a hadith that says something that black people, black people should be slaves. It's a fabricated hadith. Someone comes and says, oh, we can work with weak hadith. Black people are slaves, Prophet Muhammad said. He said, no, that hadith has a very serious weakness in it. It's fabricated. For an example, now as it relates to this issue, it's really important that we go over this. Why is it, why is it that those ulama of al-Islam, they wrote all of these books, <laughs> and in the 40 hadith books, almost all of them, almost all of them have some weak hadith, although 